In this tutorial, I'll talk about how to perform AEM operation with Postman. Postman is a very powerful tool for API testing. So as I told you in last tutorial, how to perform operations using curl, the same thing you can perform with Postman. Postman is so powerful, it support multiple protocols. So because AEM support RESTful, REST, so you can perform those operations through uh, making the REST call from Postman. So in this tutorial, I will not explain Postman, but I will explain everything what you need to make uh, a call to AEM or to perform AEM operation, whatever you need. So for that, first you have to create a collection. So you have to create a workspace, which I have already created. You can go here and create one. So just collection is just to collect your multiple calls, just, just to, you know, categorize your call. Just new collection and you can name anything like let me give you the curl because in last tutorial i explained the curl so let's make a curl and now so if you remember yesterday i explained you a curl to create package if you see here right so how you can make the same call from postman so what you have to do here is first you must understand just copy this okay this is the url now you have to make a call just do thing this okay this is the request now you you will be creating a request what kind of request it is you must understand this so you must select the request we will be having the post call now this is my url okay now you must understand here is the parameters if you have anything in query parameter right for the get call you can add query parameters here this the first tab param so you can add query parameters here so in this our uh, curl we have a query parameters called cmd means command so what you have to do here is just add here cmd and create value is create right but AEM does not allow you perform any operation without login means without authentication. So for this rest call also you have to authenticate. So there's multiple ways of authentication, but we will use the basic authentication where we'll need username and password. So in the second tab, in the type of authentication, just select basic authentication. So as soon as you select basic, this username password form will pop up and you can add admin admin and whatever the credentials are for your AEM right done now if you have any body right if you are using post call so you must be having some body so that body you can add here right there are a number of things what you need if you are submitting forms and you can submit form data otherwise here so I'm adding here key value parameters means your parameters attributes body attributes so what do we have here if you come again so you will see this package name as i told you these are not query parameters if you see right these are body so this is one package name this is one group name so these two you must add in body right so here and add it here so I added you should be good to go now if you see if you notice I did not add anything here but as soon as you added this parameters query parameters it will add in the URL so that's how the query parameters work body now if you send it it will execute because it has already username and password and you are using basic authentication you can save this call so you can just name it it's not necessary to save it to execute this call but just i'm saving it create package and whatever the collection we created curl you can put that under curl so what will happen all the call calls you will put under this collection those will be the part of this collection so if i save it let me let me check first the package manager so you see nothing is here so if i execute now let me do it Okay, so you see the message here at the bottom success true message this package created and package path is this right. So if I go there in AEM and if I check you must see a package here. Okay, so let me refresh this. Okay, see this package has been created the same way you can create command for build or any other operation. Now, 
I'll, I'll show you how you can add more for the user creation. But before that, because Postman support almost all kind of protocols. So you can straight away import your curl command in a with this Postman. Let me show you that. Let me remove this first. Okay. Let me remove. Let me delete this. Okay. I deleted this. Now it has been deleted and I will write this this one this is the text file right if you see here this is the text file so let me import this let me save this okay if i come here and i would say there must be import. okay you see in the top there's a new and there's an import if i import this there's a number of option right you can import graphql curl and a lot of things even you can upload the file as well simple file whatever you are written. So even let me do it and 60. This package is the file where I kept this command. Okay. So import, right? If you see, I just imported it. It itself added this query parameter. It sends what is the command, how it is written. And if I go here body, so it added the, this attribute body attribute as well, right? So you have to check even it, it will add your basic authentication as well if it doesn't add just check it once right ideally it will add because it will check this thing it understand because postman is smart enough right so that way you can do it any po call get call you are making so you just need this query parameters and you are done just make it get right but you have to add this authentication because you are performing these operations on author now let me show you one more, right? I created a user with profile. So how you can do that? The principle is same, exactly same. Add your URL, create one more post call, add your URL and add the this body attribute, body parameters for the profile. So if you see uh, what I'll do, this is the URL. If you see in this whole command, this is the URL. Just add this. So I added one more request. I added this as a URL. And if you come here, you we don't have any query parameters. We all have this, the body, because we will make the post call. So what I'll do, I'll add these here. And again, you have to add authentication as well. So basic authentication, which is already added, and this parameters, because this body and these parameters, right? So add this one by one. So if you will see here, parameter is nothing authentication basic and this body is all these user this thing so if i hit now it must create a user so let me do it okay if you see content created and it created at this path right yes let me copy and let me check it there so you will see this has been created this user has been created and profile is this data so you can perform your operations you can make rest call using this postman now you must understand one more thing here let's say if you want to export this okay so just to show you i created few more commands so if you want to let's say you want to share this with someone right you you have in your team so if you want to share all these whatever you created to any member of your team so what you can do there must be let me here click on these three dots uh, on this collection and you must see export right export this and export with the latest one so you can export it here let me i'm exporting it over desktop so now that that whole collection has been exported in form of file now you can you can use this file in any other postman instance to reload this so what you can do let me remove this for just for your uh, information I have removed it right so i can import that collection again let me do it this is the import and you can do file so this is the file actually which i just imported right exported sorry this file was created as the action of export so you can import this if you open just import and you will see you will see a message here and see all the request all the calls are available now the same thing here right create user and all so that way you can perform am operation with postman this is really really powerful tool for testing you must know it 
if you have any question please do comment thank you